Welcome back to question three of this series. We ended off answering both questions one and two on how to convert between newtons and pounds, but due to a request, I am now uploading question three. In question three, we're asked to convert 130.4 lbf to kilograms. So let's start by writing out what 130.4 lbf means. That's the equivalent of a newton whose units were in kilograms times meters per second squared. Now they have the units pounds times foot per second squared. Notice that this is an imperial and that is in metric. So whenever you have pounds times foot per second squared, you can replace that with LBF. Now take a look at this conversion ratio. I wrote this down. I have one LBM, or pound mass, is equal to 32.174, and the same unit as before for LBF. I'll be using this conversion ratio so that I can convert this into pounds. Then once I have it in pounds, I can convert that into kilograms. Here's what I mean. So I'll take 130.4 LBF, and the conversion ratio is 1 LBM is equal to 32.174 LBF. So I will write down 1 LBM at the top. That's what I'm looking for. And what I want to get rid of is that part, that unit. So I'll write down 32.174 LBF at the bottom. Notice that these two units will cancel out, leaving us with LBM. I'll use my calculator, and by calculating this, I will end up with the amount of pounds, the equivalent pounds. I'm not looking for that, of course, but I can convert that later. So this number divided by 32.174, using the same technique as before, that's 4.05. Let's stop writing after four significant figures. So 4.0529. And we'll be rounding this, where I have 4.053. LBM, or simply pounds. Now, the conversion ratio from pounds to kilograms is this one. So I'll again multiply this. So I'll erase that and just put down LB for pounds. I'll multiply this by 2.2 LB at the bottom and 1 kg at the top. This will cancel out with that. And again, dividing by 2.2. The significant figures here don't matter, okay? Because that's a conversion. So again, we have 1.842 kilograms. That is the equivalent kilograms to that many LBF.